Hello, my beautiful badgers, messy coda packing them with another asset store review. This time it's the multi story dungeon pack from Mana Station. It's very creepy. It's got a nice cartoony feel to it, but at the same time, I think you might be scared going down into the dungeons. So sit back, I'll hold your hand, and I'll see you all in a second. Hi my beautiful badgers, we're inside Unity playing about with the multi-story dungeons from Mana Station. Normally $45 on the asset store, if you can get it on a 50% off, you're going to be a very lucky badger indeed. It's got HDRP version, LWRP version, as well as built in. And it does support dungeon and dungeon architect as well, which is fantastic because he's got some presets. He's got a dungeon architect top-down preset, but for dungeon, he's got a first-person preset as well as a top-down. I wonder what the difference is between those. I'd love to see this one with a preset made for dungeon architect to be first-person too. You get over 200 prefabs, 60 pre-made modules, visual effects, fog and fire, demo scenes, atlas textures, and every time he does an update, he throws in a load of new models in there as well. You can see the history of him just keeps on updating and updating updating and updating so let's pop inside unity and muck about with a demo scene we're going to be going into the hdrp version first and then into the built-in here we go we're back inside so now we're in the hdrp version and straight away uh we've got a lovely little sheen to stuff like, well actually you know this is one of the few times i can say load in hdrp with something that's not trying to be over realistic on the graphics with the lighting uh, the textures it actually looks nice oh straight away we get hit boom as soon as i say that we get blinded by the light going into this one what is what's going on there oh it's coming in through that window it's very strong wow okay so what do i think of these well very i like that i like it okay it's a it's a it's a t cartoony kind of feel to it and it works well and um, what i one thing I'd say is that it doesn't match the Eternal Temple. So if you're thinking you're going to buy the two packs because they're on sale or, you know, they're buying them from the same asset publisher and that they're developing, they're going to work well together. Well, um, they don't because they're different. The rules do, but the, the props are a completely different style to them, which, is, which is, you know, need, you need to know that not buying one is going to jump into it. Well, no, we're saying that you could buy this one just for the models uh, and then use the the props um from the other pack but i think they're they're two different packs two different styles i would like to see uh, a version for the eternal temple without the moss on because this what you see here we've got no moss on here and uh, you know what i'd like to see this with the moss on as well so if you're going to have two very different styled packs then um you know have a similar kind of feel like you can then have a an outdoorsy mossy version of this one or maybe if he could just throw in some extra textures so you can mix and match between the two different pack stars again would be awesome again i'm inside the hdrp version of this pack and uh walking around with the standard controller you don't get a controller in this it's just the unity standard one oh yeah. hdrp bit of lighting oh what's this it's gone green ah it's a ghost or something. Ah, oh, little fog effects. They say you're getting this. Nice. That was a nice little touch. Come up into here. There's that little green. It's like a green fart in the air, isn't it? Oh, chow, boo, chow. What you gonna do, chow? Read from the, the, the magical texts. And then here we go. So this is the HDRP version. We've got the other Unity loaded up as well that we can jump into uh, a problem with hdrp like when you're setting up you gotta be careful with, with what you, how you're doing the lightings as you can see we got a light coming in here and it's mating making everything light and bright your lumens you gotta be careful with your hdrp lumen setting and all that nonsense somebody was writing in the discord what you can do like the, the full back look at that look at that blinded by the light um but don't let that don't let that confuse you if you know what you're doing hdrp you're going to be able to tweak these to your heart's content i'm going to jump into the normal one just before we do that look at these these jail cell here oh that's nice broken down oh one is completely ripped out of the wall oh my word oh my word all right let's pop in to the other unity into the other one here it is and as i go into the other one you can see here 
Uh, this is the Atlas texture that we've got from uh, the, the pack. And if I click play, dun, 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 dun. here we go. This is the top down version from the standard Unity render pipeline. Um, and looks great. In the uh, Eternal Temple, you've got that script that makes things disappear. This pack doesn't seem to have that script. And to be fair, if you're going to be buying this thinking that you, you know, you're going to get a controller and stuff, it's not the greatest controller to use in this demo, to be honest. It's a bit painful. You're hitting against colliders a lot. Uh, and it works in that if you go down, the camera's going to go down with you. And all that's nice. You know, the old trick of let it just drag along and hit things. But um, you are going to want to get yourself a proper controller if you want to be doing top down. Do not rely on it. It's not, this, this is an art pack. This is an art pack, not a scripting pack. So that's what it's there for. But it's a big demo scene. It's a very flippable, big demo scene. And if we pop in to the first person one, so we can have an apples and apples instead of apples and oranges. So if I go into the multi-story dungeon pack, and again, if you if you are importing it, you'll see that you get these uh, different versions. You can get the HDP version, the lightweight the mobile gamma, mobile linear, PC gamma, PC linear, for those who are wanting to do uh, gamma or linear. That's nice. That's a lovely touch that, you know, they're offering these multiple versions that you can go, uh, you can have one or, or, or either. So not just, you know, oh, you need to use linear. Every, doesn't mind. You can, you can have one of the two. Uh, and again, actually we've got two cameras. So let's delete in this scene. Boom, goodbye, save you, click play, pop in again. This is using the standard uh, render pipeline, not the HDRP one. And to be honest, apart from slight variation on the lighting, well, quite a strong very difference on the lighting, um, I think it looks beautiful in the standard one as well. You know what, I actually wouldn't mind playing this with the lightweight. And he says like use lightweight for mobile and use HDRP for desktop. Not necessarily, you don't have to. I think um, the HDRP one, uh, you know, looking lovely, but lightweight render pipeline, again, perfectly good for desktop. Doesn't have to be for mobile. And actually, a lot of people are preferring the lightweight render pipeline over the HDRP one. A little bit more uh, robust is a good way of putting it. So you get a lot of props, a lot of props, a lot of props in this pack, a lot of props in this pack, a lot of props. Um, can this door open? We don't have a script on it, but let's try opening it. Let's try opening this door. Open says a me. Is it got? Is it static? Oh, it is static. Ah, but have we. Where's the? Uh, there we go. They've got the pivot on the right place, but it is static. So it means that we can be in one time. So we're going to quickly just move it. But we can go inside. Go, hello everyone. How are you all doing? Are you having a lovely day? Yes, you are. Um, not that much detritus as it was in the other pack, the Eternal one. So I would like to see a little bit more dirt and, uh, and scum that we can throw on the floor. And like to see something that we can um, make more decals on these barrels just to, to break it up a little bit. That would be nice. A little bit of variation that we can throw in. But generally, I mean, the, again, this demo scene is huge. It's insane. And you could use something like Dungeon or Dungeon Architect or uh, Dungeon Creator. Uh, you name it with Dungeon on it, you can you can get it. And would would probably come up with some amazing, very quick, procedurally generated dungeons using this beautiful looking pack. Which other assets would work with this? I think, you know what? I'm going to say that um, the uh, 3D Forge ones would probably work well in that because he's got a he's got a nice uh, toony esque look to it as well. You know, it's, it's they they don't look um, photo realistic, and I think for that they would work well in this pack. Well, then, or any other hand painted uh, cartoony style assets would work well with this one. It does it is a big pack. Um, you're getting a lot in there. The not, I mean, it's funny. It's nice that you get the HDRP version. Not too sure you terribly need it, but a lot of people now are complaining when they're not getting HDRP. So it's nice to see that it's in there. Doors and bars. So here we go. 
Damage bars. A door. Another. I love that door. I really do love that door. And here's another door too, for the sake of all these doors. And I got props. What's this? First person. Oh, that's the first person. Make sure the load of props in here for a first person base. Well, wow. difference between that and the other one. And platforms as well. Very reminiscent of the uh, the, the internal temple pack um, in what you're getting, but different. I think they, I would love to be able to mix and match the textures. I'd love to be able to have these models from this pack and be able to drop in the texture from the eternal temple pack. And likewise, I'd love to have this pack um, and, or, or, the, or the eternal temple pack and the texture from this pack thrown into that one. And then you could really mix and match a lot of different uh, props and meshes into these two these two different star packs it would work great to get if you could just tweak it if you could just throw them in that would be great but there's another pack there's another pack that this asset publisher this artist is making and that's uh, the castle pack again a completely different style very realistic from the pictures of that one so as you can see um it's it's double the price of the other packs but it does look i mean it looks absolutely stunning uh, again, you've, you've basically now got another star, so you're not going to be able to use the Lordenfell pack with um, the Eternal Temple pack or the Multi-Story Dungeons pack. So that's a, that's a shame. So you wouldn't be able to, to mix them together. You won't be able to have Multi-Story Dungeons uh, and, the, and the other two packs. You, know, you won't be able to really mix the Multi-Story Dungeon with the Eternal Temple either, uh, which which is one of these... You know, my, my only request is that I'd like to be able to have those in because then you can double the props, can't you? You can double the props between the two packs and it's nice to be able to go, if we go to the Asset Store Publishers page and it, you can see here, it'd be nice to be able to grab different assets from the same person and have them living in the same world together. That would be fantastic. Just before we pop away and we'll have a look, I just wanted to show you that um, how these, we're not, going, we're not getting loads of LODs on these, but um, we're not looking at loads of verts either. You know, it's, it's, it's low enough that you'll actually be doing more damage with the lots than without. And he's put different colliders on there, like simple colliders on there as well. So that's nice. Nice touch there. Love that. So I did that with the other pack as well. So as you can see here, we've got uh, a mesh of this one. It's only 672 verts on there. But then you've got a simple colliders that are thrown in there, just basically to go, you know what, you don't need to have uh, all this complex curve as your mesh collider. No, we're going to go even simpler on that. So uh, a lot, I love, I love this pack. Um, if if you're looking for uh, a toony hand painted dungeon, then honestly, you can't go wrong uh, with this one. What I'd like to see a little bit, a few more props thrown in there, variation on the textures I'd like to see some variations on here you know we can even then throw in some vines or even some dirt put in there with different types of barrels as well there we got because you've got these two different styles here but I'd like to see a little more difference between them so you know they'd be nice likewise with some of the other props as well in this pack especially the walls there was the texture um, of the moss as a separate texture and let's throw that one on here as well and start tweaking it with a shader so that you can start having it more mossy or less mossy as well. But generally, well done. Well done to Matter Station. I'd love to see what you're doing more. And I'd love to check out the next one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to check out his next one. It's the Castle HDRP pack because, oh my word, it looks stunning. So let's play with that one next. But for now, I'm going to have a cup of tea, uh, maybe a jammy dodger. And I'm going to think about what I'm going to shove in a dungeon. So if you do like these videos want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends, random people on the street, why not pop over to Twitch, order www.twitch.tv slash Domestic Coder. Twitter, that's why, right, twitter.com slash Domestic Coder. And anything you can think of, stick Missy Coder at the end of it and over on our Discord as well, which is even a nice easy way to get there. It's bit.li, so bit.ly slash Messy Discord. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.